something that's really grabbed my attention lately um, is the emergence of the social media app TikTok. Mm. And I know that that's um, probably super big in the advertising and marketing circles right yeah. now. It's sort of like a Every black box. Every brief is like, we need a TikTok idea. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's it's a complete, complete black box and um, everyone's trying to, to figure it out. Yeah. Um, can you just sort of, um, you know, unpack that and has that changed your role as a marketer and um, is that a potential way to channel a new demographic? I know the demographic is yeah, kind of young well, right I now. Think, um, hang on, I'm going to try to remember this guy's name who was the producer that I met who did this amazing stuff on TikTok. Hang on. Um, I don't know. Damn. So TikTok is, it's just the next iteration of self-expression, right? It's the next iteration of, of short form storytelling. It's, it's in like every great brand. It's like, Oh my God, we got to jump on that. Right. And that's so this is nothing new. You know, this is just the next version of the, of, right. of self-expression and, 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 you know, really consumer generated media. But I think, um, what, what you're seeing is just like the, the, the heavier investment of the consumer into crafting these experiences, right? Like to crafting the executional piece. Um, and I think, I think what, what you know to 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 get that kind of scale so quickly is incredible and i think brands like everyone's trying to crack like how does a brand do that how does a brand play in that space I, usually that's when all brands fail you know what i mean like it's when it's when it's not organic and you're like forcing your way into it nine out of ten will fail but someone will do an incredible idea you know it will happen um i know roots uh out of um out of Toronto, they were just playing with the idea. Shout out, Kevin. And um, they were they were um, fairly successful at Fashion Week with it. Um, but I haven't seen anyone crush it yet. Yeah. But it, you know, what was interesting was, the, so this guy I was talking to, um, he was a music producer, and I'm completely blanking on his name, so I apologize for that. But he's, he's a well-known music producer. And he, um, he came up with a beat that ended up being shared like over like a billion times across like all the different ways people used it. And we were having dinner and he was brilliant because what he basically said was he was like, the whole, he gave, he did the, he is, sold is it the renegade. No, no, no. Um, I can never remember who it was. Ugh. He, he sold the beat for like 500 bucks because what he saw was that was the Trojan horse. Like you go let that beat go to a billion people or get seen a billion times, I guess. And then you drop a song where it has that beat. Your song is number one, yeah. done and dusted, you know? Yeah. So that was his strategy, which is brilliant. Um, and, you know, I think I'm seeing more creators and individual, like, artists find ways into that than, you know, brands are still, like, fumbling their way through it. And that's what we do. Like, we're, we're not good at that stuff. And I know that TikTok was essential to the rise of Lil Nas X and that yep. whole... So, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I know the music industry is freaking out about it right now, too. Yeah, it is massive. <laughs> Thank you.